This segment demonstrates how to assemble your new 85-pound AgriFab push broadcast spreader. Begin by turning the hopper, Part T, upside down. Then slide in the flow plate, Part H, as shown. Next, insert the end of the control cable, Part R, into the flow plate. Then snap the cable guide in place. Next, align the axle, Part X, with the frame, Part S, and gearbox assembly, Part W. Ensure it's aligned as shown. Then secure the gearbox assembly with a 1 and 1 half inch cotter pin, Part L. Then press two 1 inch plugs, Part J, into the frame. Next, slide two flange bearings, Part I, onto the axle and press them into the frame. Now assemble two quarter 20 by one and a half inch hex bolts, part C, and two small washers, part E. Then align the hopper, part T. Next, insert the bolt assemblies down through the hopper and the frame assembly. Fully secure it with two quarter 20 nylock hex nuts, part F. Now assemble the hairpin agitator, part O, to the impeller shaft. Next, align the stand tube, part P, and secure it with two quarter by two inch bolts, part A, and two quarter inch nylock nuts, part F. Now on the left side of the axle, slide on a large washer, part D, followed by a plastic spacer, part K. Next, slide on a wheel, part Q, with the valve stem facing out. Then insert a 5 seconds by 2 inch cotter pin, part M, and bend the ends out to secure it. Then, on the other side of the axle, slide on a large washer, part D. Now, slide on a plastic spacer, part K. Then, slide on a wheel, part Q. Next, slide on a large washer, part D. Next, insert a 3 32nd by 3 quarter inch cotter pin, part N, and bend the ends open to secure the wheel. Now, align the lower handle tube, part U, and fully secure it with 2 quarter inch by 1 and 1 half inch bolts, part C, and 2 quarter inch nylock nuts, part F. Next, align the handle tube, part V and fully secure it with two quarter by one and one half inch bolts, part C, and two quarter inch nylock nuts, part F. Then align the short handle tube, part Y, and secure the top with a quarter 20 by one and one half inch hex bolt, part C, and a quarter inch nylock nut, part F. Now align the flow control handle, part R, and secure it with a quarter 20 by two and a half inch carriage bolt, part B, and a quarter 20 nylon wing nut, part G. Then slide on a handle grip, part Z, onto each side of the handle. 